Okay guys, today is a sad day. Um, my Lego box is damaged, but in this video I do stress some strong opinions. I am not mad at Lego, not at all. Um, it's not their fault, it's just the shipping errors, but I'm kind of mad, so just don't take it wrong. Okay guys, I just got my Stormtrooper helmet. Let's open it right up. This is weird tape, it's cardboard. Okay, here it is in all its beauty. And it's upside down. That don't matter. Okay, I think it's in good condition. It oh. Dang it. I do have a crushed corner right here. Okay, I might have to get rid of the box or ask Lego for a new one. Well, it's amazing anyway. Oh, 18 up. Guys, be careful. Don't tell anybody I'm not on, I'm old enough. So. so in all honesty, guys, I am bummed that that happened, but it's not a big deal. It's just what happens. It's how the boat floats. But in all honesty, the box doesn't matter. But after saying that, I realized I'm wrong, so let's get right into the box review. Okay, so here is the box in all its glory, except my crushed corner and some blemishes on the back. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You can't see it from clo unless you're close up. I can just flatten it out or something. But the box is beautiful, guys. It says it's in the Stormtrooper. It says Stormtrooper and the Star Wars on the bottom with the Empire logo. This font reminds me of Rogue One, actually. Um, we have the picture of the build right here. There's a faint red glow behind it. You can't see it because I'm using an iPhone camera. But it has Lego and Star Wars right there. It's 18 plus. I'm not old enough, guys. It's okay, though. Um, 75276 is the set number. It has 647 pieces. Um, if you look at the side, it does say like Stormtrooper, just Star Wars and some stuff in different languages. The back's very nice. It um, just has Lego Star Wars, has the picture and some actual pictures of the Stormtrooper back there. And the measurements of how big the set is, so you can see if you can actually display it or not. The set did have tons of scratches on it. Like, I have scratches right here. I don't know what happened. Um, this side. I'll probably display this one. It says Helmet Collection. It has like some cool lighting, shadows. 40th Anniversary of Empire Strikes Back logo and Lego Star Wars. Um, yeah, and then the top kind of has the same thing. It says Stormtrooper Star Wars and it has a picture of the actual piece. So let's get right into the time lapse. I'm actually kind of really annoyed right now. I just opened up the box and my first bag has a gigantic hole in it. Like, what the heck? Come on, Lego, up your game. I did order this from Best Buy, but still, it's Lego's products, they sent it out, it should not be in this condition, the box is ruined, one of my bags has a hole in it, if I don't have the right pieces, I'm going to send it back, and I hope I get a free um, return or a new set, um, I got the sticker sheet, at least that's there, um, yeah, everything's there. Okay guys, I have cooled down, um, I realized that it's not Lego's fault, it's just probably shipping error, the bag probably just popped, um, yeah, we do have five bags, one, two, three, four, five. You do have a sticker sheet. There's 10 stickers, which is kind of a pain because I don't like putting on stickers. But the instructions are nice. You can scan them. You have color, lots of color, which I surprised. And you do build on black, which is very nice. Um, in the back, when you do flip over, there is no future set pictures. It is just um, the parts list, which is nice. In the back, you do have the feedback and win. Um, I've never won anything, so I don't think it's real. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right into the time.
Okay guys, so here it is. It is so good looking. Actually, my first thought that I did when I completely finished it was so like, it's huge actually. It's pretty big. It fits in my hand, but it's still pretty big. I kind of got the box too. I was like, oh, that's actually kind of big. Um, it's very beautiful. You have awesome building techniques, tons of snot. Um, if you look on the bottom, the stand is like the other ones, except you can't take this one out. Um, for this different angles, you have ball joints, so you can lift them up and down. And you have lots of upside down and big different building techniques and stuff. To get this gradual curve downwards, which is really nice, um, you do use different jumper plates and stuff, and it works out pretty nice. Um, the eyes, if you look at them straight on, they just look flat, but they actually are just clipped in, so they're at an angle, so you can look at it from all angles, which is really nice. Um, you do have some like ventilation stuff in the back, some dark gray, light gray. Um, you have almost every single leg color probably in here on the inside. Um, you have the plaque on the bottom, kind of like a UCS, but not Star Wars Stormtrooper. Uh, LFL, so Lego group, or whatever it means for. Um, these are printed pieces right here. These are stickers. If you do build this, put it as close as you can, or else it'll look weird. Yeah, um, you can't, one good thing about this is that you can't see any color unless you're looking really close. Uh, I'll show you how you get the cool angles. <clears throat> you have like jumper plates, um, things on wedges. It's, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it makes a good angle. One thing I do not like is that even it so shows it in the instructions. Get it up there. The Stormtrooper's mouth thing's much longer. That's kind of short, but you wouldn't be able to get it as long as you could and it would just look funny. So for what the pieces they had and what they could do, it's amazing. One thing to do is look at recheck every step in the instructions because you have tons of little just one by one plates and you need to make sure that you're actually getting it right or else it will show obvious yeah um this is gonna look awesome on my shelf guys this is a perfect set to get um right now um if you get it on best buy um they still have it it's sold all the this is the only one that's not sold out on like the lego um the lego website because all the other ones are better my favorite one that I really want to get now is the TIE Fighter Pilot, and then probably Boba Fett too. just get all of them. Um, I think a uh, clone trooper would look really good, like maybe Phase 2 Cody or Rex. Yeah, that's it guys. Um, you do get lots of extra pieces. Yeah, this is what I think. Um, if I was giving it a letter grade, I'd give it a um, A- minus and 9.5 out of 10. They're one thing I don't like is the mouth is just a little too small, but it's beautiful, guys. I'll see you in the next one.